Howdy everyone, this is Locknuts, and you're watching a brand new series I'd like to call Teaming Up. And I am teaming up with my good friend Taz here, and he's going to go ahead and show me what it takes to be a good farm simmer. Or farmer, virtual farmer, whatever you want to call it, here on Edelshoven. Hopefully you guys stick around to see what happens. Howdy, 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 how are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, I tell you what, I tell you what. Today we are going ahead and we're rocking and rolling this brand new series we got going on called Teaming Up. But like I said before, I am teaming up with my good friend Taz, the Polycount modding team, rocking and rolling. We are here on Edelshoven and we're having a good time. Um, Total disclosure, we actually had this entire first episode pretty much recorded, and I realized I I essentially had the cover on the camera. Nothing was doing what we had. A lot of good voiceovers. There were jokes being told. Taz was talking about poetry, oh, reciting, all sorts of stuff from Shakespeare. It was great, but it's all lost, so here's where we're starting right off. Now, like I kind of told Taz here for a second, uh, I'm going to hop on off and I'll kind of show you what's going on around here. So here we are on Edelshoven, rocking together, working together uh, out here. As of right now, we're kind of taking care of some grapes. We're going to kind of touch on a little bit of everything on this series. Uh, starting off with, we're going to be using mods. Talking about mods, showing mods off. Uh, having that opportunity to get ourselves rocking and rolling. Now I'm going to go ahead and give myself a second here, and we're going to hop back on over to our farm, way on over here, and I'll give you a little bit of tour and show you what's happening over here. If I can find a spot, let's go to this tractor here. I'm not even in the right spot, that's why we're having issues here. Alright, so here we are at Edelshoven. Got a lot of stuff happening here, some mods, some of the stuff is part of the map as it was. Uh, we may have tweaked a thing or two, put a house in or two, raised a barn, put up a silo, all together in good fun. Now, like I said, we will be rocking and rolling with a bunch of different things here. And one thing that both Taz and myself usually like to do, we like to rock and roll and ball up and down those fields in style, rocking a little less horsepower than a lot of other people. So we will be probably sticking to having less horsepower best way of saying it a little less horsepower a whole lot of fun as you guys can see like i said you'll be seeing bits and pieces around here items that we'll be using items that we'll be touching items that we'll be uh using that you might not normally see that may be a mod or two maybe it's a mod that you can find on mod hub maybe it's one that's not we'll take the time to go over a lot of that stuff and make sure we uh showcase that a little bit if you will show how things rock how things roll who modded them what they're used for where you can find them and how much they are going to be to download now we've already gone ahead and taken care of this field over here this particular field we've gone ahead and harvested it we have mulched it we've taken the time to rock and roll with it we haven't rolled it though yet that's one thing we'll end up having to take care of here before time gets done um and we're going to just go about doing this uh, after all that stuff gets done here. We're going to go about doing everything we can to kind of show how sometimes when you're out here rocking and rolling by yourself, it stinks. Let's face it, it stinks. It's better to share in the misery at times and share in the glory than it is to not. Um, so what do we got going on here? We started off with $75,000. We've had to spend a little bit over the course of stuff that will be lost and gone forever. Maybe we'll release a Greatest Hits album, and that can be on there. Time will tell. We'll figure this out as we go. But this is what we got. This is our farmyard. It's been tweaked, laid out a little bit differently from what the standard Edelchauvin uh, starting farm looks like, and this is what we got. Um, what do we have going on here? We, we don't have weeds on. We do have plowing. We have liming. We have all the other little bips and bobs. 
we're going to be playing with two days, no seasons. Um, let's see here. There also is going to be... Um, let's see here. We have it set on normal economy, so we got that going for us. We're not going to be able to get filthy rich. We'll have to work a little bit here. And um, just trying to think. I think that's pretty much all the little, the little features that we're looking at here. Um, as for fields that we own, we are starting off with a couple different things. As you can see where I left Tass, I'll have to get back there by himself. It's not fair to have him do that by himself. We do have a couple of things. We have a grape uh, vineyard up here, and up top we have some uh, olives. We have one, two, three, four fields over here. This is part of the starting farm. And then we do have a grass field because our goal is we do want to get some animals here. We have a chicken coop right there. We have a, a cow barn right there. But one thing that both Taz and myself really enjoy doing is we like to go ahead and get, well, preparations set, uh, things done in place so that you can go ahead and, all right, you have these animals. You took the time. You went out and got them. Well, now you know what? Now you have no food for them. We don't want to do that. We want to be able to go ahead and get the food for the animals as we're starting off. Now, some of the things that uh, we've covered, and I don't know if we're going to throw in any audio or not. We'll see. But some of the things that we've gone ahead and done here is um, we started this gameplay off with uh, GPS on here. Now, GPS is one of those things that I personally have never done. Uh, maybe we'll throw something up here, uh, like I said, with some audio show, showcasing that uh, I had Taz give me a little bit of a crash course. Get me going, figuring out what is going on here with this. And I think we'll go ahead and throw the audio up right about now. Now, I was using a three meter plow. Taz, are you are you heading back this way? I can't see you're too far away. No, no, I'm over there. that's far me up. Okay, I already at the farmyard. Perfect. Um, I gotta take two passes here on this. Um, and Taz brought up, you know, it's it, it definitely makes a lot of sense for when you're going ahead and you're wanting to fertilize the ground or something like that, where you have a little bit of a spread. Uh, I definitely see the draw to it. Like, I've never really done it before. Um, it's kind of neat. It's kind of cool. Has is hiding in the tree. <laughs> oh man, it, it it is pretty darn neat. I, I I definitely see the draw to it. I've always been a fan of back in FS19 of uh, using course play and auto drive. Um, I understand GPS can kind of do both of that together to a degree, um, and it it's it is pretty darn neat. I like it. I like it. I think this is going to start making its way into my repertoire of things to at least attempt we'll say attempt because let's face it i'm not going to make any promises that this will turn out to be successful or not so i guess with that being said we've gone ahead we've mulched our fields we have cultivated it it's ready to go it doesn't need to be plowed so we should be good that way um i think I think we're, we're wanting to go ahead and get cows, get that stuff ready and rocking. Uh, I don't think we necessarily want to do grass on here. We have some chickens. I don't I think we had oats. I don't know if you can feed oats to chickens. Um, so I guess at this point, Taz, what do you think? What are you thinking we're going to want to put in on this field? Uh, we have sunflower. We have the soybeans growing. Yeah, so I guess it is the way to go now. Okay. Uh, yeah, then I guess we go about doing that now. Taz, Taz, yourself here, how do you normally go about... Well, for starters, how do I turn these lines off? I got the lines on. Do I have to physically go into the, the uh, menu? Alt-Z? Alt no, yeah, it, it uh, disables in GPS. Alt-Z. Or Alt-C. There we go. Alt-C. There we go. Perfect. Get that off there. It was bothering me. Um, so how do you normally go about um, doing your stuff? Do you do you go ahead and fertilize and then plant and then fertilize again? Or do you plant and then fertilize afterwards? Up till now, I was usually fertilizing after seeding, unless it's uh, manure. Okay. 
but on 22 now I'm going with fertilizing before and and after seeding. Okay, and we'll go I'm ahead. Going with the spreading rate with manure. Okay. Before. Um, I don't remember if our cedar, we have a cedar over there. I'll get you some information yeah. on that in just a minute, but we'll... Yeah, I guess it's better to go with cedar for you. With your tractor, unless it's lower horsepower than mine. Uh, I think mine might be just a little bit higher than yours. Yeah, my 130 and yours, 179. Yeah, 179. Alright. Uh, uh, Cedar requires 130. Okay. All right. Well, then I guess if you want to go ahead and do the fertilizing, that's fine. Uh, filled it up for you. At least can do that for you. <laughs> All right. We'll set this down. And then we'll get out here and get shuffling along. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to bring this up. Up. Bring this. Bring it up. Nope. Activate. Activate. Bring this up on the screen. Okay, now let's see. Auto width. Okay, we got that. All the other stuff should be good to go. I think. Back. Let's bring up our lines. No, that's not the lines. That's not the lines. It's still not the lines. Nope. I just turned that off. Son of a gun. Alright, Taz, how do I bring up the lines again? I already got the lines in the wrong spot now. The actual lane in the wrong spot? Yeah, the lane is like on the other side of the field. It's not in front of me. I'll drive a little bit forward. Oh, okay, there we go. And then it's the alt home. Right now? Yeah, alt home centers it up with the tractor. Okay, if perfect. You need to shift it left or right, you use alt and page up or page down. Okay, perfect. There we go. There's much more buttons to use, but I'm not sure how. what does it what. Oh, shoot. Shoot. <laughs> I don't have my cedar down. Oh, man, guys, that's why I decided, or we decided that uh, me teaming up with Taz is probably a good idea. Taz is just phenomenal at this, and I'm, well, as you can see, I just drove off without having my cedar down. It's going to take a little what bit. <laughs> So guys, I'm not sure 100% what you just seen right there. You could have seen a picture, you could have seen a little video, short video with no, just over talking of something happening. I am not too sure, but uh, as you can see, uh, Taz did take a little bit of time to put up with my shenanigans, uh, things that are going on here. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just getting my butt kicked by this. Yikes, okay, off the wall, off the wall, there we go. Um, all right, I got to back up. Now, one of the conversations that Taz and I did have a little bit earlier here is we, we were kind of talking about um, uh, doing some of this stuff together, teaming up, really getting together and sharing in the misery, sharing in the glory when it came to this, uh, doing the, this uh, this side-by-side -side farming, this farming with someone else. Uh, one of the things that we talked about is the Antonio Carrera pack, the, these little tiny super super tractors that we got here, super tigers. Um, both of us kind of were in the same boat as, you know, all right, this came out, not a big fan of it, but uh, I tell you what, these are these are actually very, uh, very, very impressive. I'm not gonna lie, very, very impressive. Uh, as you can kind of see here, it's like getting myself going in a straight line. Um, these little bad mamma jammas, uh, I'm going eight miles an hour. Got this motor going. Eight miles an hour, and we'll see. Oh, wait, gotta wait a second. We gotta wait a second. Now we can showcase what's going on here. Oh, see, that's the other thing about playing with somebody else, is that you sit there and you see the other person struggling, and you're like, you know what? I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> oh, man, so this is what I wanted to show you. Uphill, and we really haven't lost a step at all. These things are, 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 are beasts. This is... 35 horses we're working here. Um, Taz, do you remember what the horsepower of these mulchers are? Okay. 
horsepower. 12 horsepower? That's not too bad. And that cultivator, the subsoil that we were using earlier, what was, do you remember what that was? Ten horsepower. Ten horsepower. Hey, I'm sorry. I was watching. That was funny to me. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how many times I've done the exact same thing that Taz has done right there. Where hey, I'm sure you guys have, too. When you're trying to, okay, I got enough time. Let's get in here. Let's get this stuff taken care of. And it, you end up just driving off in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes destroying crops, sometimes not destroying crops. Oh, man. It's kind of nice when you don't destroy, just don't destroy your crops. Um, but yeah, it, it, these things are are very, very impressive. I Like I was saying before, both Taz and myself kind of turned up our nose at these things until we really got the opportunity to jump in and try them out. Um, and that's, that's going to kind of be what, again, what I was talking about before. One of the things that we're going to try here in this uh, in this gameplay series is we're going to we're going to try some things. Maybe some, maybe there's some mods that we come across that we want to go ahead and try. Like, like here with the grapes and the olives. Uh, we do have olives too. I don't remember if I said that. Yeah, I did say that. Um, with the grapes and the olives, there are a couple things here that we want to go ahead and try. We want to kind of showcase here for a little bit to, to demonstrate there are different ways of going about doing things. Um, and that's kind of going to be the, the, the moral of the story, if you will, when it comes to this gameplay. Getting out there, trying different things, working together. I think that's going to be the biggest thing. Working together. This is the teaming up, teaming up series. We're definitely going to do everything we can uh, to do do a lot of this stuff together. We may get to a point where we get so big that we kind of have to divide off and conquer uh, separately. But we're all going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to do everything we can to make this the best possible experience we can. Working together. Um, I know I've had a lot of uh, opportunity to sit here and play with Taz, so we kind of understand each other's gameplay style just a little bit. Um, and we have that little bit of familiarity. Uh, I would definitely say that uh, if you guys have the opportunity to go ahead and... If, if you're somebody who normally goes ahead and plays by yourself, um, maybe try it sometime. Find a good friend, somebody that you can go ahead that has similar play styles, uh, similar ways about going about doing things, and, and jump in with them. Try something out. Try something a little bit different. Team up with them. Um, I know I'm going to be learning some stuff from... T well, I'm going to be learning a lot of stuff from Taz. Let's face it. We all know Taz here. He's, he's <laughs> He knows what he's doing when it comes to a lot of this stuff here. All right, Taz, I'm going to close that. And we'll lock that up. We'll take us back to the farm here. Um, let's see, get this onto this implement. Lock that down. Get this thing started up. Um, but you never know what you what you have the opportunity of learning. Uh, what you have the opportunity of getting yourself involved with. Um, you'd be surprised how much you you pick up. I think that's one of the coolest things when I go ahead and either. I'm watching other YouTube videos or I'm watching uh, uh, other people stream either on YouTube or on Twitch. Y you get that opportunity to, to learn different gameplay styles, to learn different uh, tactics, to learn different uh, ways you never thought about going about doing things. And it, it really is cool, especially when you go ahead and you're playing directly with somebody else. You have that opportunity to ask the questions, hey, you know, how do how do you do that? How did how did you do that? What what's your favorite way of going about doing this particular task? How do you get by with all the monotony of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? I tell you one thing that I have learned, um, just for the short time playing with Taz here on this, and then playing with Taz and other people on uh, my streams, and Taz uh, going ahead and um, on his streams that he does as well. Uh, you really do... Yes, yeah, what I want to take. You you really do have that opportunity to... Uh, uh, to ask the questions right up front and get that one-on-one -on -one response. Now, i got to go ahead and turn the map up here because even though it's our farm, 
I don't always remember how to get there. I may or may not go off-roading from time to time. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if I if I can stick to the roads like I I really would like to try and do. Oh, one of the really cool things you guys missed here before. Um, we were driving from the shop down this way right here. I was stopping to go ahead and turn in there, and guess what? The car stopped. The car stopped to let us turn in. I never would have expected that. I had to let you guys know that. I would have, like I said, never would have expected that to happen. Um, but it, it, it is neat to be able to have that opportunity, like I said, to get out here, to run around, to, to, to play with somebody else. I know you see a lot of people going about um, doing these these types of series or doing things like that where they're playing and you really they kind of stick to their own rigid style um, and they aren't willing to bend or aren't willing to try something new I think it's 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 neat to have like an open mind when you're coming in with this sort of stuff um, Taz and I we actually wanted to get this series up and running I'd say it was at least a month ago maybe a little bit longer I don't remember uh, unfortunately, illnesses, uh, myself, Taz, uh, conflicts of things that were happening, it never really got accomplished up until now. Now, how is this series going to play out? I don't know. I don't think I, I don't think Taz, do you know how this series is going to play out? Nope. I have no idea. Yeah, exactly. I have no idea. You're going to run along. Exactly. I mean, the way that we're going to kind of approach this is uh, Taz and I we don't we're not neighbors we don't do the same thing we don't we're not doing everything all, all at the same time uh, our lives are slightly different different schedules different time zones even um, uh, shoot uh, do that get that undone um, so as for even how many of these episodes we're gonna see how many of these episodes or how frequent frequently I should say we're gonna see these episodes uh, I, I don't think uh, either one of us knows that uh, it's just not something that... Oh, boy. Well, that just happened. Um, we, we don't know. Uh, what's that, Taz? I'm trying to play basketball here. Yeah, it kind of looked like that, I bet. Throw that thing up in there and see where we end up going. Um, so, I mean, that that's kind of what we have planned, uh, other than the fact that we don't know. We have no idea how this is all going to roll. We have no idea how this is going to end up. We don't know how it's going to start. Uh, the one thing that we do know is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to play this together. We're going to work together as a team and we're going to do everything we can to kind of share that experience with you. The stuff that we go through, the stuff that we end up seeing. Uh, we'll end up missing some time. We may end up skipping some time for it, but we'll do the best we can to explain everything that we're doing. Um, as for episode links or anything like that, I'm not too sure. Again, that's another thing that's going to be up in the air. Maybe Taz and I get to a point where we see, you know, maybe this is a good time to end the episode and it's maybe only been a half hour. Maybe we're rocking and rolling, we're doing so many things that it just works out where we're getting close to an hour. Don't know. Time will ultimately tell. Time will ultimately show us what we're going to end up doing. But I do know one thing that we probably should do is I know we have this one field over here that we did all that work on lost to time <laughs> you guys will never know what ended up happening we probably should get out there and do a little bit of rolling and i think we may have one other field that needs to be rolled at the, after that um so with that being said guys you probably see a little bit of action of taz and i working together uh doing a little bit of rolling me trying not to get in taz's way and i guess we will catch you a little bit later on and I hope all of you guys have an opportunity to uh, really sit down and enjoy this for the best, for, for, for what it is. Two friends out here playing along, trying not to get in each other's way. <laughs> oh boy, can't even attach to this thing.
So here we are, out and about, doing a little bit of rock picking. We, we tried to get a little ingenious with this, to be 100% honest with you guys. Um, we actually had one of these little uh, buckets that we got on here. Turn the tractor off. Uh, we actually had one of these little buckets that we have right here at Taz has. Taz has something he has to take care of, so just uh, let's not worry about that. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, she is a little tipsy. He was telling me he was a little tipsy when uh, he had this thing fully loaded, so we may end up not being able to load this up all the way all the time. Um, but my tractor over there, try not to run Taz over, so we'll go around to the other side. My tractor over there, we actually attached a bucket to my rear PTO to try and make the best of everything, to make, make the magic happen. And unfortunately, what ended up happening was, is I was able to take the bucket, make it go up and down. I'm gonna go quick with this. Okay. We're dumping some of this out really quick here. Um, we were able to make my bucket go up and down um, but the problem what we ended up running into was I was going ahead and just pushing the rocks down like I could only get my bucket to a point where it was picking the rocks up but it was also dumping them out at the same time if you guys know what I'm talking about um, and it kind of stunk it, it made it so that I couldn't do the task that uh, we we're supposed to be doing uh, so this is kind of what we've been negated to as of this moment, uh, doing things like this. Uh, I had a harsh conversation with Taz. Taz had, well, really, Taz had a harsh conversation with me. He said I may actually have to get rid of my tractor. <laughs> How dare he? How dare he? <laughs> oh, man, but you know what? I think he might be onto something there. I may end up having to get rid of my tractor. Uh, unless maybe I can find a discount tractor, maybe a modded tractor, something that's a little bit cheaper and I could slide in there. I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening with all that. Uh, let's see if I can actually go ahead and turn this on myself without any help from Taz. Um, smash that button right there. Let's see how this ends up working out. Uh, trying to remember all the things that he taught me here. Good, I think that'll work out nice and slick. So I get my bucket down here get myself going forward engage that drive forward and that should be taking me on my route pretty darn slick it's kind of like this is what I was talking about some of the things that you go ahead and learn from the people that you're playing with that you might not normally figure out something that you can go about doing um, it is pretty neat it's pretty neat some of the things that you can pick up on some of the things that you can learn now this right here it's only three meters wide this bucket Three meters wide but I tell you what going 22 miles an hour is way nicer than going I don't know whatever it is that we're normally used to going on with the uh, what was with that what is it called the stone picker the stone picker here the the standard stone picker that everybody goes ahead and uses uh, this guy right here five and a half meters wide nine miles an hour this is what we're using lizard Lizard stuff. I think it's like the lizard stone picking kit. This is what we're using right here. It's a three meter wide bucket. I think it's a three meter wide bucket. And I can go as fast as the tractor can take me. Money. I don't know why I've been doing it the other way all this time. This is way faster. Obviously, the capacity's not as great. You run into that being a slight issue, but you know, ultimately, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Taz and I ran into a slight issue over here when we were taking care of this one. Uh, there was actually cotton in this field, and neither Taz or I really decided that we have uh, anything in our in our tool bag or in our handbag, however you want to say it, that uh, was going to be able to handle doing cotton. So we went and plowed that under, got that all taken care of. But the problem is now is we're sitting with all of these rocks out in the field. That's why we're out here. That's why we're, needless to say, rocking and rolling. It was pretty cool, though. It definitely was pretty cool trying to, like I was saying, using my tractor going in reverse. Uh, it was different. It was it was it was, it was neat considering I was trying to use GPS, trying to make it go at that. All right, let's back this thing up a little bit farther, and it was able to keep me going 
straight. Let's see if that's going to work out for me or not. There we go. Perfect. And with GPS, voila, there you go. Now I'm going ahead, picking stones three meters at a time, going 22 miles an hour. Imagine if you are to strap this bad boy onto, I don't know, say like the fast track or something like that. You'd really be rocking and rolling. You'd really be doing a great job. Now, one thing I may end up having to do, like I said, is I may end up having to listen to Taz and potentially use a different vehicle. Um, do that. But uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather try and stick with that one that I got over there. At some point here, we'll go ahead and we'll talk about that vehicle. Today is not the time or the place for it. Um, right now, you know, it's kind of about getting things set up, getting things rocking, getting things rolling. Um, one of the things that we will go ahead and do is if we do start talking about mods or anything like that on here, uh, I will definitely leave uh, a link in the description every time for any any of these times that we go ahead and we're talking about stuff like the link for this bucket up front here we'll go ahead and use that taz's tractor right here this is one of those tractors that is a relatively slick mod that's out there i think it's the mtz we'll take a look once we get to the end of the field here to see which one it actually is uh but it's a nice pack of tractors that becomes available here uh, got to remember to actually click on the right thing here. Coming on down, coming on down, coming on down. There we go. The MTZ-1221. Not a bad little machine. Has a difference of, uh, uh, 20, or three, uh, 130, 132 horsepower just by going ahead and changing a couple things. A uh, bunch of different selections in here. Just a great, great vehicle. Um, I, I've had the opportunity to use this a couple times before, and it, it is super slick. Uh, I will go ahead, like I said, I don't have the all, all the information in front of me. I'll do my very best to try and be slightly more prepared next time and make sure that we have a lot of that information available to you, available to be able to share with us uh, as for, you know, what things are. But I will make sure I have all that stuff down in the description down below. So that if you guys are wondering, you do want to know what it is we are rocking and rolling with out here. Or I should say, something that we go ahead and we spotlight. We'll definitely make sure that you have that opportunity. Let's see if I can get this right here. There we go. Get that opportunity to get things rocking and rolling. Now, Taz, he was telling me that, you know, when it comes to using this GPS stuff, it is just a matter of time. Uh, time before I go ahead and I kind of understand what I'm doing. Time before I get the hang of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take his word for it. Lip right there. We're fine now, though. Um, with all that being said, though, guys, I think it's time we're going to go ahead and probably wrap some of this stuff up here. Uh, like I said, we don't know when the next episode's going to be. We don't know when the next episode is going to come. We don't know how long the episodes are going to last. But what we do know is we're going to get out here. We're going to work together. We're going to try. We're going to have fun doing it. We're going to do different things. We're going to team up, share the misery, share the rewards, and ultimately just do the best we can to have a great time. And one of the ways that we can have a great time is by you guys going ahead and smashing that like button. If you guys are liking what you see and liking what you're hearing, oh man, I tell you what, that would be pretty cool. Taz, as you can see, is back. Taz, I think I kind of got the hang of this. It's kind of working out pretty slick. Um... Just coming on and making sure everybody's aware that, you know, if they're liking what we're doing, go ahead and smash that like button. I'd appreciate the subscription. I know Taz would, too. We'll leave the links down below. We'll leave the links down below for both Taz and myself. We're both very active, or at least active on Twitch, I think is a good way to say it. Links to find us there. Places that you can see us. Places where you can go ahead and figure out what the heck's going on. Uh different things you can go ahead to contact us we'll let you guys know what it is where it is how that all plays out in the future um but if you want to go ahead subscribe it means a lot hit that notification bell so you guys know when this and other great episodes are coming on out by myself and when taz and i are going to be teaming up again you'll be able to first ones to know go ahead share this with somebody who you know who needs a little bit of help teaming up with somebody you know you know the person very stubborn on what they're doing, on their ways and how they go about doing things. It'll give them a great opportunity to show them that two people can get together, rock and roll, farm, and enjoy it all at the same time. You betcha. 
But guys, like I said before, it's that time where we gotta say our goodbyes. It's our time where we gotta get get to bed, tuck in our little animals, and <laughs> you know, have a great time till the next time. And what do I mean by that, guys? I mean it's that time where we gotta say it. Not because we want to. Well, not because we have to. I'm sorry about that. Not because we have to, but because we want to. For myself and Taz, thanks for stopping by.